Hi guys, my name is Barry and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the evolution of the Michael Myers mask. Now, even though there's only 13 movies in the franchise, I say only, but there's only 13 movies in the franchise, but Michael Myers has a different look over 25 times throughout this entire series. So he obviously has a different look in each movie and within each movie, there's a numerous times he's changed his look. This isn't going to be a ranking video of all the masks. I've already done that previously if you want to have a look at that. In this one, I'm just going to look at the progression through, through the first movie in 1978, right up into the last movie, for Halloween ends. We're first introduced to Michael Myers in 1963, Halloween night, and in this scene he dons the clown mask. Fast forward to 1978 and Michael now has the white iconic mask. Michael does look like a ghost in the scene when he's got the, the white sheet over his mask. However, he does go back to the original mask after the white sheet comes off. Moving on to Halloween 2 from 1981, although the mask is still the exact same one, it still looks a little bit different because it's Dick Warlock that's wearing it in this movie. If we move on to Halloween 4 in 1988. He doesn't have a mask to begin with. He's only got the bandage sheets, which I actually think look fantastic. However, he does find a cheap white mask that he can wear throughout the entire film. There was a scene, however, where Michael does look like he's wearing a pink mask with white hair. And this is the, the reason for this is because the makers of the mask that brought it over to them, they didn't have time to whiten the mask or use black hair, so they had to go with that scene just for that one clip. Moving on to Halloween 5, which was only shot a year later and the mask looks completely different from the previous film. This time it looks like some sort of bird, like a peacock or a pigeon. Just like some of the other Halloween movies, Michael does wear a different mask in this film to disguise himself and he's got the brute mask here. If we go into Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers, a lot of people really like this mask. However, I don't really like it for some reason. Looking at it here, it feels like it's sort of made of clay, like a clay face, very heavy looking mask. Halloween H2 is where people really have problems. At the beginning of the film, we see that he's still wearing the clay face mask from Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. But after that, he moves on to the K&B mask. That mask wasn't good enough for the film, so they had to change it up and use the Stan Winston mask, which is the predominant mask throughout the entire movie. However, because of budget restraints and time restraints, they couldn't change the mask in one of the scenes, so they had to use a CGI mask. Moving on to Halloween Resurrection. This one is a decent one because they only use one mask throughout the entire film, but this is how Michael looks in this one. Slightly darker skinned with more makeup look on him. Rob Zombie's remake from 2007 brings back the clown mask that was a kind of tribute to the original movie that was set in 1963 at the beginning. Michael does find a white mask at the very beginning of the film that's nice and clean. When he is taken into the sanitarium, as you can see, he creates lots of masks that can't be counted. He does wear quite a few of them. The most prominent one that he wears is the orange mask when he's trying to escape the sanitarium. After his escape, he goes back to his house where he finds the old mask that he buried within the floorboards. That is the mask he uses throughout. However, he does what he does in the original movie and puts on the white sheets to look like the ghost bob. In Rob Zombie's Halloween 2, he still wears the same mask. However, it looks like it's just half on his face. It's half on, half off. And maybe you couldn't even call it a mask anymore. In Halloween from 2018, he's got the mask back again. This mask is supposed to be the original mask from 1978, just weathered and 40 years older. In Halloween Kills, we get a nice change up because they get to create the original mask again from 1978 because of the flashback scenes. And because Michael was supposed to have been burned at the end of the 2018 movie, his mask that is also 40 years old, looks a little bit more weathered now because of the burns at the left-hand side of his face. In Halloween Ends, we've got the same features as we did in Halloween Kills, only this time the mask is more mouldy because he's been living under the sewers for four years. So that is the evolution of all the masks that Michael has ever worn from Halloween 1 in 1978 right up to Halloween ends in 2022. But I know this isn't a ranking video, but what I want to know from you guys is what is Michael Myers' best look in the entire franchise? Leave those comments down below. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. To get you, Barbara. Ever play in the cat? I want to look back.